What's up guys, Husto7 here and I'm rolling out lots of videos here for the Xbox One. In this video I'm going to show you how to download some of those apps that you want. Apps are, um, you know, they've kind of been pushing that with like Windows 8 or whatever and because this is a Windows machine they want you to get those apps and they're going to be crucial to get. So I'm going to show you what you can do. You can come right over here. Now first if you want you can use this uh, Oops, let me try to get to this feature tab. You can use this uh, Discover Great Apps and Features, which will have a lot of them recommended. But if you actually scroll all the way over here to the apps, um, you can you can see all of the apps on the Xbox Store that are currently um, released. Now, you might have some of these things pinned. For example, I had Netflix by default pinned, um, but I actually have to go in and install it. So right now, you see that this option says launch, um, but that is because I've already um, you know installed this so even if you have something pinned make sure you go in and check and get the ones that you want um, so you know I grabbed this I grabbed NFL um, I grabbed uh, Upload Studio which I recommend Upload Studio is um, what you're gonna need if you want to um, create you know some of your clips you'll still be able to use the in-game DVR you don't need an app for that um, but if you want to um, you know like create the clips or put like a voiceover you're gonna want to get Upload Studio um, I downloaded uh, Machinima just because um, you know I mean, I'm partnered with Machinima and they've had a cool app before. Um, so some things you don't need to download, like for example, Xbox Music. Um, oh, actually, I guess I do need to download Xbox Music. So you'll see here, here it says install. Um, so if you want to use Xbox Music, you're actually going to have to install this. So that's kind of cool that you can use the things you don't, uh, you know, use the things you want to have and, and not use the things that you don't want to have. But just keep in mind that all these things will take up hard drive space. Uh, you have a 500 gigabyte hard drive with this uh, Xbox One, but just keep that in mind and currently there's no way to check like uh, in your system settings how much space you're using uh, you just have to do some math and kind of go through so if you find an app that you want you can um, download it now some things to keep in mind is that you do have to download even the blu-ray player so the blu-ray player is actually a, an, an uh, like an app um, which was not something that I knew at first and so if you want to play blu-rays on your Xbox you are going to need to get that there's also a speech tutorial which um, I recommend downloading um, it you know just kind of went over some of the um, you know voice commands which uh, are been pretty cool and have been working for me uh, most of the time there's been a few times I kinda stutter or I'm kinda speaking a little bit quieter because it's you know almost four in the morning but um, these voice commands have been working great for me so far so check some of these out um, when you're ready to install something like I said you can um, click on it uh, like for example this one and then you can see it will say um, launch uh, now I should be able to also uh, click the start button here and then I can also um, pin it to home now if let's say you've got something installed and you want to remove it so this speech tutorial I've gone through it I remember the voice commands um, so now I'm gonna go remove it because I don't want it taking up necessary space um, so what we're gonna do is back out to home and we're gonna go here to my apps and games so from my apps and games we can see all the things that I've got um, installed here and I'm gonna navigate to the speech tutorial there it is and from the speech tutorial if I click the um, start I can uninstall this uh, 16 megabyte so I'll go ahead and click that and I'll remove that so that way I don't have to worry about that taking up space on my console so if there's anything you don't want um, you can go through and remove it that way so that's how you get apps on your Xbox one um, you're definitely gonna want to go through those apps there will be more rolling out um, but especially if you're going to want to be Skyping, I definitely recommend picking up SkyDrive, some of these features, if you want to take full advantage of what the Xbox One has to offer. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And stay uh, tuned and be sure to subscribe uh, for all of my Xbox One content coming out. All right, guys, I got two more uh, Xbox One videos right here for you. The video on the left is some dashboard features. I'll talk to you about how to navigate around the new Xbox One. And the video on the right is uh, Xbox One setup help. If you want to get Xbox to control your TV or your um, cable box or even your audio, um, this is the video you can want to check out how to do that. Be sure to check out those links at the top of Twitter and Facebook.